Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RGJ Runner, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Part 9, I believe. Well, this is beginning to be a pretty long series. As I said in the last video, which was probably one of the shortest by far, I'm gonna try and keep them to definitely a 30 minute minimum. This one... Ugh, it's a bit up in the air at the moment because I'm not sure how long is left in the game. I could be close to the end, in fact I have a feeling I am close to the end. But I'm not sure how long the end will take to complete. That's what I'm worried about. Right, anyway, enough rambling on. We've got Nikolai over here looking uh, very uh, very ominous, very disturbing. He he looks like he's scheming something. Or is he on the old uh, dog and bone? You talking to someone, Nikolai? Are we having a steering contest? Leave me, I won't back down. No, just looking chill. All right, gotta figure this shit out for ourselves. Oh yeah, that stairway is blocked. Can't go back up. How do we get back up now? Oh, up here. Okay, so we don't mess with that yet. And are any of you going to jump up and do the oogie boogie? Do the zombo shuffle now. Jeez, it's about as lovely as a graveyard in here. Okay, enough of the jokes. I suppose you gotta confirm. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. Oh, you think this is over? Yeah, this is far from over, buddy boy. Okay, gotta get my gun out because I know something spooky is gonna happen. Anytime something like like this goes down, when the light goes out, or when the lights lights when the lights go out. The monsters come out to play. Speak of the devil. What on earth are you? You don't have any eyes. Get back! How can you see me? You have no eyes. Are you not going to go down? Still, nothing. Dude, what is up with you? You're not a regular Zombo, are you? Oh, doesn't have a crotch. Doesn't really have much of a face either. Okay, that's that's something that's new. So I guess I bring this down. Oh, I have to find fuses for this thing. This, this thing here, this panel. How many? Uh, four, three, two, one. I need to find three. Oh, and I bet this is going to be exhilarating. And it'll probably involve a lot of back and forth as well. So a lot of that is going to be cut out. It, it's the one thing that annoys me in some games. Is just... Needless back and forth. I wish there was just a more direct path to could go. Okay, can't like that. Give me some of those. Yes, three. I mean, not that I'm in a rush, but it'd be nice to get this series completed and move on to Final Fantasy. Excuse the hell out of me. Did I hear something? I'm not sure what I hear, but I don't think it's me. Okay. Handgun ammo. Nice. Okay, I'm ready for anything. Bring it on! Whoa! Good sweet Jesus! That's not fair! Get the hell off me, Fido! I thought there was sort of a safe area here. No, they can still cross it. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, what you gonna do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing. I mean, got jack shit on me. 
Oh god, that took me by surprise. In fact, I'd even say it scared me a little. And I'm very reluctant to admit that sometimes. Sometimes. So what, do we go up in this alley shaft? No. Ah, uh, this is probably operated somewhere else. Probably upstairs. This way. Maybe not. Oh, Jenkins, how you doing, buddy? Long time no see. Back it up. Again, respect that social distance. Respect it. Jesus. Now, that was just cheap. Okay. Respect women. God damn. No respect. No respect at all. Wait, we're here? Yes, here. Okay, good. To the old slip and slide through here, and I believe I saw a red herb around here as well. Yes, I did indeed. So I can combine that with this. Boom. And I can take this now, I guess. And I'm fine. We're all fine. We're all good in the hood. So, can I upright that from... Yeah, I suppose, but we also have this stairway as well. Okay, now there's nothing lying about here. Okay, map. Lift. Oh, wait, it's marking out the fuses for me, is it? So there's a fuse all the way over there. And that's an explosive round. So I assume there might be one or two up here as well. Why is it just marking out the one fuse? I thought it was, thought it was supposed to be three. Huh. Weird. Oh, and we got some more handgun ammo. I'd prefer some more shotgun shells, if you wouldn't mind. Not good on the handgun department, or the handgun ammo department. Can I jump back down? No, I can't jump back down there, okay. Oh, here's the lift, or the controls for the lift, I should say. So far so good. Oh, high grade gunpowder. Nice. Hmm. They're not gonna make this easy, are they? Excuse me. Oh, that is not a happy noise coming from there. Okay, I got, got my flame rounds. What other rounds do I have? I have explosive rounds as well. Okay, so we're fine. And the fuse should be over there. Oh, okay. So we've made our way over here to where one of the main fuses is. Are, is, whatever. Oh. That's not good. Okay, they haven't noticed anything. Oh shit, they've noticed. Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> oh god, a dino! I know your weakness anyway. Oh. Christ, give me a minute! Whoops. Oh Jesus Christ, I completely missed this one right in front of my eyes. Man, do we feel stupid. Alright, things are going to go down very differently this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip my... My explosive rounds for when this thing pops open so I can take them all out in one shot. 
Hopefully one shot. Okay, boop. Yep, there you go. Not too worried about the Hunter Gamma there. Just gotta see what we have in here now. Okay, we've got lots of gunpowders. But I don't have a lot of room. That's the main thing I'm concerned about. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Well, the office is right there. That door is locked. There's another door here. You know what? I'll leave those sit there nice and pretty for the time being. I'll come back for them. Because I definitely will need more of those when the time comes. But for the time being, I'll just take this. So I need one more fuse. Where's the last one? Oh. Get ready with the flame rounds. Because this thing is gonna be angry. Poof. Yeah, look at him squirm. Nice and toasty. Whoa, 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 easy up there, Charlie. Ah, I've got another herb. Damn, game, throwing all the good stuff at me now. You just know that there's going to be a tough bo uh, boss battle sometime soon. Jeez, I'm tripping over my own words. God damn me, and I can't pick this up either because, you know, full inventory and whatnot. Mm. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I suppose I could try and waste seven shots of my handgun ammo, but I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'll leave that sitting nice and pretty there. Ah, well, Lewis, I'll see what's in this room. Oh, jeez, it's you guys. Well... Only one thing to be done about it, explosive rounds. Actually, no, no. I'll use my handgun. I need an excuse to use it. Whoops. Get back, Charlie boy. Yeah, I can do this. Get back. Oh, nasty. And they can't cross this threshold here, so I'm fine. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. <gasps> no, no. Back it up, boy. Oh! Oh, I am so sorry about that, son. Now, for you, I think I'll use the old eagle here. Go on, wait for the line up. Nice and perfect. And just... Oof. Okay, so the Desert Eagle deals with these new zombies nicely. Just one shot to the head. Okay, we've got a note. Employee memo. September 12th. Admitted to N2. Male 45, female 32. Discarded. Male 60 and female 89. September 15th. Admitted to N2. Males 55, 19, female 51. Discarded. Female 76. Returned. Female 8. Uninfected. September 22nd, admitted to N2. Males, 25, 22, 15, females, 16, 21, 29. Discarded 6 male specimens, 9 female specimens. Disposals trending upwards daily. Preemptively dispose of anyone over 30 years of age. Or any over 30 years of age, I should say. So these are all test subjects, I take it. September 24th, nightly transfer observed by nurse. Admissions to underground facility temporarily halted. Okay, I'm guessing something bad went down. Ah, oh, shotgun cells, yes, I need a days. So many of these. Okay, now just to check the back area around here. Nothing dropped, nothing here now. Okay, nice. Wait, got two doors. Okay, the last fuse is down there. Although it doesn't say it on the map for some reason. Oh. 
and this leads where? Oh, this leads back out to my safe space, my safe house, nice. Okay, what I'll do, store that there. Um, do, 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 do. Store that here as well. Store this here. And just jump back down here again and put the last fuse where it should be. Or the, not the last fuse, the second last fuse. What the hell, Rob? Get your head in the game. Wait, what? Oh, there's the other fuse, okay. For a second there, I thought the game bugged out on me. Last fuse should be down here. Wait, what's that? Oh, gunpowder. He's a breezy lemon squeezy. Nope, 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 no, 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 no way. Fucking hell, I knew it was too good to be true. Right, there's only one way to deal with the likes of you. Yeah, I'm afraid if I fire it, I'll miss. But, you know, sometimes you gotta take chances. Did I get him? Oh, I did, but it did jack all. Uh, you know what? I'm using this. Ooh! Oh no. What? Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. I'll have to switch to the. This. I'll have to switch to this. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. I took way too much damage there. I'm not gonna use my my first aid spray now to hope in hell. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Is there any more surprises for me? No. You sure about that? Okay, fine, great. Just watch. All right, here goes. The whole world will go to hell now, just a second to climb up these stairs. No? Okay, good. Okay, I can just grab a green herb from here. Store this. Yeah, take out my green herb. And use it on, on myself. There we go. Now I'm sitting nice and pretty. And Nikolai is gone. Oh, and these guys are turning into freaks of nature, which have to be dealt with. Okay, no, I'm not going to waste my my uh, pff, my grenade rounds. No way. I'm just gonna use my handgun if I can. Okay, no. Shh. Screw this. They're getting way too close. I don't think I like it. Shotgun time. <gasps> Get away! Oh! Thank God. Thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult. Because I know if I run into more difficult to deal with creatures down the line, I'll be needing my grenade launcher. I'll be needing the explosive rounds and the flame rounds, so I don't want to waste them on, um, you know, the plebs. The small fry. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that dude's back up again. It doesn't matter. I don't think he'll be going back down there again anyway. And unless he becomes sentient, I don't think he'll be coming up here. Shit, he got away. What was he doing in here? That is a good question, and we'll probably find out via a note of some description. Oh. Extended barrel for the mag. Nice. So I can combine this with this. Does that mean I can Hold more ammo in it? Possibly, maybe? Hmm. 
We'll soon find out. Okay, it could hold eight rounds before. No, it just has a longer barrel. Not a clip. What the hell? It's in the name. Okay, let's read through this. Unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. Observed five RPT officers engaging a pack, 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test run at university. Diverted pack, including canines, to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. Successful rendezvous with MV platoon. Will make first attempt at dawn. MV? Who's MV or what's an MV? Diverted pack toward command post. Result, night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. End of skirmish. Seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. Oh. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Right now, I must get the vaccine. So, how do I go about doing that? Well, let's find the vaccine up ahead. Oh, that easy? Really? Doubt it. So does this mean we're at the end of the game now? I mean, we should be, I think. I'd like to think so. Uh, do I have a herb on me? No, I don't. I only have first aid spray. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. Alright, let's get this done. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, Tyrell. I'm afraid you might take a chunk out of my back. Well, good thing I'm watching yours. Good lord. That thing is an absolute beast. Nemesis is an absolute beast, I should say. God damn me, that thing ain't gonna hold for long. I mean, if there's vents, he'll probably try and crawl through them or something like that. Or bust down walls elsewhere. If only we had Chris, 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 Chris punch a boulder on our side. He'd deal with him like he split. Okay, so this must be where we get the vaccine. Can we... Oh, locked. Okay, can't go in there as of yet. Uh, okay, so we have... We have this area and this... Area. Oh, another save room. Should I save? Uh, no. No, not just yet. I'll wait till I hit the 40-minute mark again. Okay, nest 2. Employee regulations. The objectives of this T-virus research facility differs from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary changes in technology. Yeah, revolutionary my ass. 
I can't wait time to get some herbs out and some first aid sprays probably. Um, handgun bullets, I'm fine on. Okay, I have how many gunpowders? Okay, I'll take out more handgun or hang, handgun ammo. I'm going to say handgun powder. Uh, two gunpowders that can be used to make even more handgun ammo. Uh, I'll leave it yet. I'll take out my green herb. And I'll leave these two here just as backups. There we go. Okay, right as rain. Oh, great. Another one back here. Handy dandy. And. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Speak of the devil. High grade gunpowder. I'm going to use this to make more shotgun shells. Okay, so I'll get out this. Then combine these two together. Boom. There we go. And we have one slot to spare, but that'll probably be that'll probably be uh, temporary. Okay. I hope nothing scary pops around from the corner. No. Okay. Good. What about here? Oh, you just know this guy is going to do the shuffle, truffle, or the truffle shuffle, the zombie shuffle, whatever. Okay, just land one good shot. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, aren't you lucky? Okay, now you're down for the count. I should hope. Oh, and of course we have you, Jim Bob. Can't forget you. Always smiling, even in death. Oh, Jesus Christ! Get off me, Jim! You serious, Jim? <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm using this. Okay, now you're down. Oh, even more handgun ammo. Nice, 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 nice. And another note. Isaac Graves' diary. Isaac Graves. Why does that name sound familiar? Wait. There was a Dr. Isaac in the Resident Evil movies. The, um, the live-action ones with Mila Yukovich. I hope I pronounced it right. I probably didn't. I probably butchered your name. I'm sorry. Um... Is that the same Dr. Isaacs? Probably, probably not, because Resident Evil live action films aren't really that canon. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in Nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I would made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Oh, good job. Well, hindsight is 2020, because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him! I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job, do as I'm told, for their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. So most of the people here are essentially held captive. They have no, no other choice. They made a mistake and they can't leave for fear of um, the Umbrella Corporation hurting their family. Okay, and I've hit the 40 minute mark. Uh, right, I'll just explore a little further. I'll see what's going on in here. Uh, okay, do key. Okay, high grade gunpowder. I'll definitely use this to make mag ammo, probably. Hey, buddy, how you doing? You still dead? Good. Um. 
But what's this big machine here right in front of me? Oh, this is probably where I make the vaccine. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. I don't have those. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? Yeah, and this probably tells you how. SAM vaccine synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants in vaccine synthesis, Dr. Nathaniel Bird. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the efforts of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Oh, I, I get you, so it's kind of like a cure-all, more or less. Are these guys dead? You're probably not dead, are you? Oh, flash drive. Oh, there's a door downstairs that I need to get through. This is what I use it on. Okay. And it, like I said, I've reached a 40 minute mark. So what I'll do is I'll just cut to the save room and end the video there. Alright, this should be my second last video on the Resident Evil 3 series. If I am correct, I've been recording for 40 minutes. I got a bit done, a small bit, not a lot, but some. I will be cutting out a lot of back and forth because it'll, if I left that in, it would just get very monotonous very quickly and I don't like doing that with some of my videos speaking of which a lot of the Resident Evil 3 videos were very bad quality I apologize for that it's because um, I had to reinstall my Elgato capture software and I didn't change the presets and the presets were set to best performance instead of best quality so it, it was very very pixelated especially when the game got into dark areas so I do apologize for that but not the case with uh, these two new videos coming out, part 8 and part 9. They should be okay. They're, they'll be in full 1080p and they'll be absolutely fine with a bit of fine tuning as well to go along with them. So anyway, guys, enough of rambling. You know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, favorite, share with your friends, and of course, as always, subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in the next one. So until next time. See ya.